So she's uh, she's a little kooky, this one. It's like, she, if you don't respond to her text right away, she's like, I fucking hate you. You hate me. I can feel it. Fuck you. And like 18 emoticons oh with like a, a, a smiley face, but he's red, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, whoa, take it easy. I was shitting or I was showering. Take it easy, you weirdo. Uh. And uh, so finally, she goes, you're hanging out with me on Christmas. That's that's how you're going to pay me back. And I was like, all right. I'd like missed one phone call. I was like, all right, all right. And <laughs> Part of me is like such a nut that I kind of feel like I deserve this, so I'm going with it, you know? So I was like, all right, what are we doing for Christmas? He's like, my friend's having a crab boil in Brooklyn. It'll be crazy. I'm like, well, I got no plans. I got no shows. Let's go to a crab boil. I'm down. So I meet her at a bar. She's with her fat gay friend. He's funny, and all. they always are. This guy was like, like right out of a Will and Grace episode, you know, uh-huh. just cracking jokes with a bartender and like, <laughs> I'm gross. Ah! You know, that guy. We go to this apartment, Crown Heights. This is wild. They swing the door open. A hot black girl answers with, like, huge cleavage. She's like, hey! She swings the door open. You can smell the crab. It's wafting all over the apartment. (laughs) Big place, hardwood floors. I get in there. In the living room is about eight big black guys all wearing, like, black and leather and stuff. She's like, you guys want something to drink? I was like, yeah, sure. Go in the kitchen. There's about five big black guys in there, all black leather, weird tight clothing. I'm like the hell's going on here this is odd but i was like ah whatever it's christmas let's let's go nuts so she has some kind of like punch we all drinking the punch i start talking to the guys they're clearly gay and then the crabs come out this you know gay guy comes out he's got this tray right who wants seafood i don't like clams wow 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 right yeah. this is the weirdest christmas ever and uh i go out to call my mom so like, yeah, it's christmas night i better call my mom so I call mom, and they, they got the whole family there. They're like, it's so good to hear from me. So I kind of miss them. I'm like, what am I doing? And I come back in, and the girl is like, where the fuck were you, you piece of shit? You were gone for like 10 minutes. I was like, oh my God. I had to call my mom. I think she's she's got to be a nut. Yeah. So I was like, I had to call my mom, you wacko. What's going on? And she's like, we're leaving right now. So we go to her place and bang. <laughs> Yeah, it was wild. This girl's off kilter. Horrendous apartment in like bed dog hair everywhere. She's going to kill me if she hears this. Dog <laughs> hair everywhere. Like, oh, we had to go have, we had sex in her roommate's bed. Oh, my God. Because her bed was so gross. She made me watch a what? movie about dragons. Oh, I hate the dragons. I hate the dragons. Every, any person that mentions that dumb show to me, I want to punch him in the face. Oh, uh, Crown Game of, of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Go with Game of oh, Thrones. Yeah. yeah. I hope I they know. all die. Me and you are the only people on the planet who've never seen that show. Oh, a dragon. Get real. Get real. <laughs> Get your life together. <laughs> Grow up. So we, you know, we finally bang, and you know, it was pretty fun. And then I, I immediately was like, ah, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. It's Christmas night. You what gotta, am I doing? You gotta get back to that crab party. I know. That I, sounded I, fun. I, I was filled up on crabs, and now I've got crabs on my finger. I got vagina. I got dog hair. I got dragons. I don't know what's going on. So I eventually, I, by the way, I signed up for Uber. It's changed my life. <laughs> Uber's got me out of so many. Sh- shenanigans anyways you're ubering back you're covered in dog fur you're gay now she's like if you leave i'll never talk to you again and of course in my head i'm like perfect right so i uber the uber guy it's like 4 a.m by this point the uber guy's like i'm outside i'm like i love you we talked the whole way drives me home and uh that girl hates me 